Hi friends, welcome back to another episode of Fix This House. On today's episode, we're going to be doing a product review on the Craig's AccuCut Circular Saw Track Guide. So stay tuned. So before we even take it out of the box, let's take a look at the packaging front and back. So it's saying that it can do rip cuts, cross cuts, angled cuts. It claims that you could do cuts up to 50 inches, solid aluminum track, and it works with left or right blade saws. Got the starting block here, you got the sled, two aluminum rails, and you got some connectors right here. Look at this, it's, this has a very grippy, a rubbery texture on it. Looks like if you put it against a piece of OSB board just like this, trying to move it back and forth, it's a little bit slippage. So we're going to test that out and see how it cuts. But first let's go and connect these two rails together. There's two arrow indicators, so you know where to join them. Slide the bar in there, like so. Slide the other bar like that. Make sure that you push these two pieces together nice and tight, both slots even on each side. Now take your set screws and set them in place. There is a little bit of gap right there, but that's, that's perfectly okay. But looking at everything, it's nice and aligned. Same thing here, it's a little bit of gapage right there, but it's nice and aligned. Very sturdy. I'm gonna install the starting block, pick any side, it doesn't matter and just slide it into one of the T-slots like so. So what I really like about what Craig did with this track is that you can make it so that you can extend extra tracks right here. So you can buy the extension pack and make it into eight foot so you can cut eight foot lengths. I'll leave this product on the description down below and also the extension of where you can buy this to make it easier for you. Now it's time to install the circular saw to the sled. Now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna loosen these bolts right here. You don't have to take them completely off and then just so that they, you can move it around like that. Now there's two extra holes right here depending on the circular saw that you have. You can move it around on different areas so that you can have a better clamp on your circular saw. You also have a stop right here um, it says on instruction to take it off, but for me, I just loosen it up and then move it to the right. You don't need to take it off completely. I don't see the point on that. You're going to set the blade 30 seconds of an inch to the edge. So 30 seconds of an inch here if your right hand side um, circular saw, left hand side on this side right here. Now 30 seconds of an inch is a small, very, very small measurement. And if you look at the tape measure, one inch on the tape measure is divided depending on your tape measure. This one I have, the DeWalt tape measure, only measures sixteenth of an inch from one inch. Now 30 seconds of an inch is pretty much half of that. So I'm just looking at the 16 inch tick mark from where the inch starts to the 16th, the very first tick, and just go between there and that's 30 seconds of an inch. That's a very, very small gap. Circular saw that I'll be using is the DeWalt. Now, depending on which brand that you have, most brands will fit this sled. To make it easier for myself to mount the circular saw, I'm just gonna put the sled right on the track and then place my circular saw right on top. Put your circular saw, you're going to butt it up to the very edge right there. And what I like to do is put the track right on the very edge of this straight edge. And then 
lift up the guard and this pretty much push this so that this blade is touching the edge of the board this makes it a lot easier rather than just trying to you know maneuver everything off with the sled and this it makes it all in one piece so that it makes it a lot easier and faster and a lot more stable when you're assembling everything once you got everything all nice and aligned at the top nice and square you're gonna move this stop and block forward like so you're gonna take your clamps and move it down here's a problem that I have with one of the clamps now in this case my clamp doesn't you know work on the very edge right here so I'm gonna move this clamp on this edge like so so it has a better clamping on that edge this one I'm gonna keep the way it is this one I'm gonna move a little bit more on the inside here's a little trick if you're trying to move this to the uh, other position and you see that there's a nut there it's really hard to get out what I like to do is your what you're gonna do is you guys pretty much take the bolt out of one of them okay and then go to the back and then screw it from the back like so and now you can just pull it off right there no need into trying to poke it out of there because it's fairly it's there pretty tight so if you do that it's a lot easier to take out once again we can position the saw right back onto the sled so now if you look at the clamps it now positions well and then this can position right there stop and block right here you can now push it to the edge wherever it's nice and snug you can tighten everything down okay there you have it now if you're looking at this right here that pretty much grazes the edge really now be very careful I'm touching this with my bare hands you don't want to cut yourself I'm just showing you how close it is to the edge right there now here's the track here's the straight edge of the board and that's how far it's gonna cut okay so that, I hope that gives you a clear idea of how far it sits now 30 seconds of an inch is very very close pretty much just grazing it just like that you got a clamp clamp hold it also has a stop on the edge right here where you can butt it against the, the edge like that so that when you run your circular saw it doesn't move at all forward so that's a stopper right there now let's test how accurate this thing is. I'm going to measure about 8 inches from the edge and let's see if it cuts a good straight 8 inch all the way across this 4 foot length. There's our first cut. So I measured this 8 inches. Now let's see how accurate it cut it. Measuring from edge to edge. It, it's perfectly at the 8. Now let's look at the other side. Perfectly at the 8. So very nice. So that actually cuts really, really accurately. Now while I was moving it through the track, I didn't, the weight of the circular saw to the track made it more stable so it didn't move at all and I actually felt the track gripping the board while I was moving and pushing this forward so that there was no movement at this and there's also the, the edge right here that was helping it as well from moving it forward. It was very stable and very very firm when I was 
pushing the circular saw over. It was fast and easy. Obviously I was taking it nice and slow for you guys. Always practice with caution when using any power tools guys and make sure that you always wear the right PPE. I had ear earmuffs and I also had safety glasses on. So there you have it friends, my overall review for the Craig AccuCut. It exceeded my expectations. Uh, I was really worried that when I glided this this sled over the track that this track would move around but it proved me wrong that when I did apply that pressure um, just the weight of the circular saw itself prevented it from moving around so which was really really nice and it had this little lip on the bottom which prevents it from moving forward overall the construction of this thing is nice um, it's very well built very sturdy I think the only thing that's um, what's gonna get a lot of people is the the setup so if you follow my instructions um, if you set the sled on the track then put your circular saw and then clamp it down from there and fine-tune it from there I think you should be okay you shouldn't get intimidated by the 30 seconds of an inch but overall it does really really nice straight cuts I measured eight inches it cut perfectly eight inches on each side Again, there's actually an extension that you can buy from Craig as well. And it's actually an extension which you can do eight feet cuts. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button down below. Press the subscribe button and press the notification bell so you can further be informed of what's going on with my builds around the house, my future project DIYs and product reviews just like this one. Again, thank you so much for tuning once again. I'll see you guys on the next video.